If you are looking for a fully local private chat GPT like experience where you would talk to any large language model locally on your own system, you would upload unlimited number of documents in PDF, Word and various other formats. And if you could do it in all private without any internet connectivity, then have a look at this fabulous tool called as Anything LLM. Now, it also comes in a desktop application which you can download on Mac, Windows and Linux. I will be showing you how you can download, install this on your Windows system, the desktop application I mean, and then we will also play around with it, totally local and private. If you want a setup like multi-user single server, then I would suggest that you go with their Docker version and I will create another video where I will show you how to do that. Now, let's try to install it and I will drop the link to it in the video's description. The website is very interesting, useanything.com. From there, click and download anything LLM for desktop. And then just click on the Windows one. If you are using Mac or Linux, then of course use that one. I'm going to go with the Windows one. So and I am opening it at the top right, as you can see. Let's wait for the XZ to download and then we will run it. Just click here and see more. And I can simply keep it because sometimes Windows just uh, complains about it. So I have just clicked here, clicked on these three dots, and then keep. Two more, I'll just say keep anyway. Let's open the file. Takes bit of a time. And you can see that it is installing now. So let's wait for it to get installed. This takes a bit of a time. Also, if you're looking to run it locally, make sure that you have a decent system with at least one GPU card. On this system, I have one GPU with 16 GP of VRAM and my memory is 32 GP. So make sure that you have at least that spec. That's a minimum because we'll be running uh, large language models locally by using this application. So it has installed now and once it's installed it will present you this screen simply click on get started and then from here you can uh, select your LLM preference you can either work with your OpenAI if you have the OpenAI key you can work with Azure OpenAI Anthropic and there are a lot of other options even if you have uh, Olama running on your local system you can uh, tie up it uh, to that one and this could be used as Olama client too. It can also uh, be integrated with LM Studio. And then locally, there's a lot of things. So how good is that? Now, if we can also, you know, uh, connect it with models from Meta, Mistral and more on this device with zero setup. This is powered by Olama, by the way. So let's, let's first try out anything LLM with this one. So I have clicked on anything LLM here. And once you click it, you can see here, there are Llama 2 3.8 and then Mistral and uh, Gemma 2 billion. So you can select any one of those, click on show models and it is going to show you various other models. And there are a lot of them. So maybe I will select a very small one. Let's go with this Fire 2. It is active now, as you can see. And then click on this right button. Now, you can select various Im uh, embedded model, uh, embedding models. These are, you, so for example, if you want to chat with your own documents, they would have to be converted into numerical representation, which is called as vector or embedding. And for that, you would need an embedding model. So I'm just going to go with the LLM's own embedder. This is perfectly fine. So let's go with it. L let's click on next. Now, as a vector database, you can go with LandsDB, Roma, Pinecone, there are various other, and the list goes on and on. So, but I'm just going to go with the LandsDB because it's a 100% local vector database, and it is very nicely integrated with anything LLM. And it is quite performant too, nothing wrong with it. 
So now you can see that we have for LLM, we have selected anything LLM uh, with Olama based. We have selected our embedding engine vector database. Let's click on next. What is your name? You can skip it or you can give your email. So I'm just going to give my email here. And this is just for maybe personal use. Any command? Thank you. We skip some. Okay. And I'll just call it my testing. Select it. And workspace has been created. So let's wait for it to load. So, and our model has been downloaded. And the welcome screen is showing us what exactly this anything LLM is. And it also says that no GPU is required. You can run it on CPU if you have a good CPU. But I would suggest you at least should have one GPU that makes things so easier. Anyway, um, also that everything is arranged into workspaces. As we you saw that we created our first workspace, which was um, testing one. You can see on the left here. So I have selected it. And then there are a lot of things uh, you can do here. You can chat with it. Hello, how are you? And then our model is running behind the scene. You can chat with it and you can do a lot of things. You can create different thread as you just you do it on chat GPT. But this is running totally locally and um, totally privately. Now, once you the first time you start it, it uses a default LLM. So this is another great thing. If you don't want any LLM, it comes with a default LLM. So in order to change it to Fire 2, which we also downloaded, if you remember, so just click on this wheel icon on the left hand side, just opposite to your workspace my testing. Once you click it, there's a general setting, click on chat setting, and there's a system default where it is using chat model. So you can see it is use, still using system default. Let's use a Fire 1, which we have downloaded. The number of previous chats, this is a prompt. You can change it as per your own, sorry, own requirement. And then you can scroll down. This is a temperature which tells you the randomness of the response. If it is closer, it is the values between 0 and 1. Closer to me, 1 means it will be more creative and random. Closer to 0 will mean it will be quite deterministic. And then you can, this is a chat prompt. This is an instruction prompt, I guess or the during your documents okay so in order to go back just click on your thread and we are here now let's ask it a question so i'm asking it a self-driving car must choose between serving to avoid hitting a pedestrian potentially harming the passenger or staying its course discuss ethical considerations there you go so you see how fast this is totally running on your own local system and you are talking with your own LLM. How good is that? Awesome stuff. And then on the left at the bottom, these are a few of the links to GitHub repo Discord server. And this um, icon at the very uh, right is for the settings. You can change your appearances. You can again select more LLMs here. As you can see, our Fire 2 is already selected and active. You can even do transcription with it by default it comes with this whisper model you can change your embedding model from here vector database which we saw earlier you can have external connectors like you can connect it to github repo or you can go with youtube transcription you have also have the logs of the system if you there is anything wrong and then you change can change the appearance of the custom messages and stuff another great thing is that you can even programmatically access it Click on API keys and then you generate a new API key and access it through your code. And I will make another video where I'll show you how to do that. It is quite interesting. If you want to go back, just click on this, uh, you know, reverse arrow at the bottom of the left and you will be back here. How good is that? And then just click on your uh, my testing your workspace and it will bring you here. Amazing, amazing stuff. Really like this tool. Now, if you want to chat to your own documents, just click on this upward arrow in your workspace, just opposite to your My Testing workspace in the left. Once you click it, these are all your documents. Now, you can either talk to your from your website. So, for example, if I say 
https and i give to my own website like fahadpinza.com and i say fetch website it is fetching the website here let's wait for it to finish there you go so it has uh, fetched my website you can move it to uh, workspace so i'll just say here and it has save and embed it is going to do the embedding and this will take a long time because it is doing the embedding of all of my website how good is that and then you can uh, so i will just go back from here i'll just close it and then i can talk with it that uh, what is oracle dba there you go so it is talking about oracle dba very very nice and this is from my website i believe so you see show citations and fahadmirza.com and if i say who is fahadmirza there you go so it is all from my website sorry for shameless promotion but uh, i don't, just don't want to you know use any other website for copyright purposes okay now let's try with one of the documents so i'm just clicked again on that upward arrow let's upload the file from here i'm just going to go with the pdf file so i just uploaded this file which is simply an oracle documentation oracle 11g so and then this has been uploaded select it move to workspace save and embed and it is going to convert that document into uh vector embeddings i believe it first chunks it converts it into numerical representation and then stores them semantically similar ones to the vector database and if you remember in our case we were using lance db so let's wait for it to finish and the larger the document it will take long time so let's wait for it and that is done and you can see that on the right hand side now i am doing retrieval augmented generation or rag with my document and with my website so basically rag or retrieval augmented generation is where you provide external data to your large language model so that it will have more context around your query yes, so let's close it and now again let's talk with it so let's ask what is uh, i will say oracle database so citation so this time it has it is using my own document let's see who is Ahmad Mirza. It's citation so it is using both the document and my website how good is that so i hope that you enjoyed this anything llm uh, as i mentioned totally local totally private you can you don't need any internet connectivity uh, with it once you set it up and for example if you are in a remote area um, or if you are going to go to some place where there is no internet this will be very handy just to give you a, you a use case um, soon i will be going to one of the remote place in australia i'm based in sydney australia so we have this outback which is desert hardly any connectivity there so i will be going there for a couple of days just in a remote community where they have no internet or anything and i will be just uh, doing some voluntary work with the community where i will they already have the laptop and stuff so i will be installing this anything llm there on one of the uh, laptop which has a gpu and then i will give them this llm uh, i believe i will be just using the default llm and everything and then they should be able to uh, try that out uh, and then see how it works so it will be really good for that youth so just imagine that how good this could be for any communities which are remote in different parts of the world because uh, once you're in the field you seem uh, you think that everyone knows about it but the thing is very very tiny fraction of the global population is using enjoying and wondering about this ai at the moment billions and billions of people don't know about it they have no access about it but tools like this you know my hats off to whoever has created it they are doing a wonderful service so i think tools like these are enablers and i will be using i'm very humbled very grateful for this opportunity that i will be using 
this uh, for uh, this purpose i might also use lm studio but i think that i like this one more because it enables us rack more easy to set up that's it guys uh, i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching